Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Coco, and uh, I'm making a, a tutorial today. I usually don't do these, but I'm making a little tutorial for streamers. Um, and basically, the tutorial is going to be on how to separate uh, the music that you play in your stream from the rest of your stream audio. Uh, so, you know, why would you want to do this? Uh, well, let's say you're streaming and you got like some copyright music going. Obviously, you're not supposed to be doing that, but I mean, you know how it is. If you've got copyright music and you want to make, uh, let's say, a stream highlight video, you're not going to want that copyright music in your stream highlight video because then you risk, you know, something like a copyright strike. So you're going to want you're going to want to remove the music for that. Or let's say you're streaming and, uh, you know, your audience doesn't want to hear music. They don't maybe they don't like your taste in music. Uh, but you really want to listen to what you want to listen to, you can do that with what I'm about to show you. Or the opposite. Uh, if, you're, if your audience wants music and you don't want music, same thing. You can do that as well. So how do you, how do you accomplish this? Uh, well, basically with these, uh, with these, you can see these two pieces of software that I have right here. Uh, this is Audio Router and this is uh, Voice Meter Banana. Now, let me just full disclosure, I am not a pro at using either of these. Um, this one's pretty simple, audio router. Voice Meter Banana is, you can do quite a bit with this program. And uh, most of the these features, the functionality, I'm completely ignorant of, I'll be honest. But I do know enough to, uh, to do what I'm about to show you, okay? So how do you get these programs? Uh, basically, uh, oh, here we go. So here's audio router. Uh, pretty simple. Just just Google audio router. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, there should be a GitHub link. You just go here. There's a 64-bit EXE download link and a 32-bit uh, EXE download link. Um, yeah, anyway, get the one that you need. It's there. Voice meter banana. Here we go. So yeah, you can see all these pictures. This program does like a million and one things. Okay. Uh, I don't use it for any of that. There's tons of stuff on YouTube if you really want to learn the ins and outs of this thing. Uh, you can figure it out, you know, I, I don't know. It, it looks a little complicated, but there's info out there if you look. So anyway, just, uh, wait, where was the, uh, here it is. So yeah, to install it, there's a little, they, they have it, they have a compressed version of it, and then they have just the straight EXE. Just download EXE, install it. Once you've installed that, it's probably going to tell you you need to restart your computer. So do that. And then when you come back, you know, you'll have both of these things here. And uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your default audio playback device. So how do you do that? Uh, I was showing it to you right here. Just right click this little, uh, this little sound icon up here in the corner. Uh, go to playback devices. Obviously, I have my taskbar up at the top. Yours, Windows by default has it at the bottom, but you know how to find it. Come on. All right. So anyway, you just go there, go to the, your playback devices. And what you're going to see is you're going to see two new devices that voice meter installed. One is called input, right? Just straight up input. And then one called aux input. So I'll just explain to you right now what, what we're trying to set up. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to have all of your stream audio minus the music, be directed to this voice meter input device. And then what you want to do is you want to have your music going to this aux input. That's basically what we're going to be setting up. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to set this as your default playback device. Just click on it. Uh, again, input, not the aux input. Click on it, hit set default, hit apply, then hit OK. Obviously, I've already done that, so I don't need to do that. Now, uh, now, just be forewarned, once you do this, you will not be able to hear any audio on your computer, right? Because you've changed the playback device. So you, to, in order to hear this uh, voice meter input in whatever you're using to listen to your computer's audio, right? I'm using earbuds right now that are plugged into my uh, audio interface here on the desk. Uh, in order to listen to it on that or in speakers or whatever you got, you have to route that to or you have to send that to your, your listening device in voice meter banana. So uh, as you can see in this, in the program here, when you open up voice meter banana, 
you're going to see here two virtual inputs, right? There's virtual inputs right here. There's one right here. It's this whole thing. And then there's another one right here, right next to it. So as you can probably tell, this one that says voice meter VAIO corresponds to this device here, the one that you made the default playback device. This one right here, voice meter aux corresponds to the aux input, which is where we're going to be sending the music, uh, you know, that we're trying to isolate from the rest of our stream. So uh, in order to, uh, you know, hear both of these things, right, your desktop audio and your music, you're going to need to route both of these to your headphones, your speakers, whatever. So the way you do that is uh, up in the up in this side, the right side of voice meter banana, you'll see there's hardware outputs. You'll see this, they give you a, ch a choice of three, A1, A2, A3. Uh, all I do is I go to A1, click that, and I select my audio interface. Now you'll see there's, there's multiple selections for your, for your, there probably will be multiple selections for your device. So I have one here, right? It says WDM. There's another one here, KS. There's one right here, MME, and then uh, I believe this one is, is also going to my audio interface. I don't really know what the difference, I'll be honest, I don't know what the difference is between these different things. I believe they're like different drivers, like there's WDM, there's KS, there's MME, there's ASIO. I don't know what the difference is. I do think they differ in terms of latency, and I've heard that WDM is pretty good in terms of being low latency. And a lot of the tutorials I've seen, people are using WDM. So I just use it. It works. So yeah, uh, try that. If you have issues with that, you can try a different driver like MME or something. But anyway, so that's all I do. I select uh, the device that I'm listening through, right? Which was probably your original default playback device, right? I, I put that in A1. Then in order to send both of these virtual inputs to A1, you just click A1, right? So I think by default, it's like A1 and B1 for, for everything. Uh, you don't really need the B1. So uh, I just make sure that A1 is clicked for both like that. So both of these virtual inputs will now be sent to whatever device you're listening to. So now you'll be able to hear, uh, you know, whatever audio is playing on your computer, okay? So we've got now, at this point, you've got most of this, uh, you know, You've got most of it working the way it should, except for you still have not sent your music to the aux input. So how do you do that? You use audio router, right? This is the, the final key, the final piece to the puzzle rather. Um, so when you open it, you'll see this, uh, which is, this is a pretty, this is a pretty nice view. There's a couple different views, uh, but you can, you can see this shows all of the devices, the audio devices on your computer. And it has like volume meters, so you can do like a little bit of mixing here. Uh, but I prefer this view. If you go to file, switch view, you can go back and forth. If you switch view, um, you can see a list of applications um, that are playing audio, right? So uh, as you can see on the, on the right in this window, it says routed to. So it shows you where each of these programs is directing its audio to. So right now they're all blank. Right, as you can see, there's nothing here. That just means that all these programs are sending to the default playback device. So if you wanna change one of them, right? For me, when I play music, I'm usually playing it uh, in a, like a YouTube playlist on Chrome. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be directing the audio from Chrome to the, ver the voice meter aux input. Uh, if you're using Spotify or if you're playing VLC, like a playlist in VLC, you'd wanna direct the audio from that program to the aux input, okay? So to, re to reroute the audio, you just double click on the application that, that you uh, are gonna use to play music, okay? Double click, change it from default audio device to voice meter aux input, hit okay. Now you'll see it will show that it's now routing the audio from that program to the aux input, okay? And uh, yeah, at this point we're good. Now, one thing to mention is when you make changes to the audio routing in an audio router, Voice Meter Banana doesn't automatically see that change that you made, right? It's not detecting like, you know, uh, any changes to the audio routing. So in order for Voice Meter to see it, you have to hit menu and restart audio engine, 
right? At this point, now voice meter will see what you did. And now all the audio from Chrome will show up here in the voice meter aux input. Everything else, game sounds, system sounds, everything is going to go through voice meter VAIO. Okay. Sorry. There was one thing I, I almost forgot to mention. Uh, so as long as voice meter input is selected as your default audio playback device, every time you restart your computer, you're going to need to have voice meter banana open in order to hear this in, you know, your headphones. So one thing I would recommend is when you hit menu, click this option right here, system tray run at startup. This makes it so that voice meter banana always starts up when you start up windows, right? Which is what you want. Um, so that you can keep this as your default playback device at all times, right? Unless you really want to like go back and forth, switching default devices, you know, when you're streaming, when you're not streaming, you can do that too, but it's easier just to keep this as a default and make sure that uh, voice meter banana is always running in the background, right? It's a little bit easier. Uh, so anyway, that's just a little recommendation. I think we're at this point, we're pretty much done. So how do you set this up in OBS? This is the final piece of the puzzle here. All right, uh, a little bit of, uh, what is this? Streamception, technically videoception, I guess. Um, so in order to set this up, you can see I have two, you know, in addition to my mic and obviously my webcam, I've got these two audio devices here, okay? You could probably guess the first one is the voice meter input, the voice meter virtual input. Second one is the aux input. Okay, pretty, pretty simple to set this up. Just go to settings, audio. You can see right here, desktop audio device, desktop audio device two. Just set those to the appropriate uh, inputs, yeah? And so yeah, at this point, um, so yeah, we're good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize these things. And, whoop. and uh, now I'm going to, we'll do a little test. Okay, just to show you that it works. So here I have the, the YouTube audio library showing up um, in Chrome, in Chrome. So this is like, this is your music basically. This would be like music I would play on stream. I mean, not really this, but you know what I mean. It's just think of it as uh, it, it's like an example, okay? And then for system sounds, okay, you obviously it'd be like game sounds or something like that, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna uh, open up a song in VLC. So both of these are, are you know YouTube audio library songs. So no copyright strike, YouTube. Okay, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing fairly here. All right. So when I play each of these, what you'll see is uh, actually I'm gonna show you Voice Meter first. Okay. So if I play this VLC, okay. So now what you can see, I don't know if that's loud enough. Yeah, it's, I think it's loud enough. You can hear that. So you'll see it's showing up here, right? In the voice meter input, okay? Now I'm gonna pause that and I'm gonna go here in Chrome, right? The, the application that whose audio is rerouted to the aux input. If I start playing something in here, okay? That's a little bit, hopefully that's not too loud. Anyway, you get the point. It's showing up here in the aux input. Okay, so they're they're routing correctly, as you can see. And if you if you look in OBS, right, a little bit more videoception. If I start playing in VLC, yeah, you can see it's showing up here in the desktop audio, right? And then you can probably guess if I play in Chrome, it's going to show up in here, right? Desktop audio too. Exactly. See, so everything is being routed properly. Okay, calm down. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, everything's being uh, routed properly. So with this setup, let's say you wanna do a stream highlight without any of your music included, right? In OBS, you just need to record your desktop audio and your desktop audio too on different audio tracks, right? And then when you're when in your editing software, you can just get rid of the track that has the music, keep the track that has your stream audio, which would be this one, right? Desktop audio. Desktop Audio 2 has the music. Um, and again, if you wanted to mute, let's say the uh, the audio for the stream, the music for the stream, right? So only you can hear it. All you'd have to do is just mute like this. So I'll play, uh, I'll play Chrome right now. I'll play some music in Chrome, okay? 
Now, if I hit this, okay, it should now be muted in the video. I can still hear it. I hear music blaring in my earbuds right now, but it should be silent for you, right? If I unmute it, now you can hear it again. Now, let's say I want to do the opposite. I want to mute it for me. I'm sick of hearing something. I want to try hard, uh, uh, you know, PUBG or something. I want to hear what's going on around me. But the stream wants to listen to the music. You can go into Voice Meter Banana. And all I have to do is mute this aux input. At the very bottom, there's this mute button. Right now, I cannot hear any music. Now, if you look in OBS, I did not mute it in OBS. So the video, you guys who are watching this right now should be able to hear this music. I can't hear anything. It's totally silent. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And also another thing, if you wanted, if you felt like the music was too loud for you, but your stream is not complaining, they think the, the volume's fine, you can change what you hear with this knob right here. This does not affect the levels that your streamer hear, right? If you look in OBS, if I lower this all the way, right, I basically, uh, this is pretty much muting it for me. I can't hear anything, but you can still see the levels in OBS are unchanged. So you should be able to hear it fine, no problem. You should not hear any change, right? And vice versa, if it's too quiet for you and uh, you just want to turn it up on your end, you could just increase it like that, yeah? All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me let me pause this. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, that is it. Uh, hopefully, this tutorial made sense. I'm sorry. This is totally unprepared. I'm just making this video very quickly. So uh, so anyway, yeah. If if uh, you have any questions, or again, I'm a noob. If you have corrections, if I did something wrong here, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, if I miss something, anything like that, I'll be monitoring the comment section. If you liked the video, go ahead, uh, feel free to give it a like. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. I just learned how to do this a couple days ago. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's pretty cool. It, and it's really easy too. Uh, hopefully the video isn't too long, let's see. Oh my God, this is a long, long video. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried to explain as quickly as I could. But anyway, that's the video. Uh, hopefully this helped you. See ya.